Hello YouTube, Doki the ADHD Rugrat here again and doing a video. I did my very first video, well my second, but my very first uh, movie review, House on Haunted Hill. As you, could, as you guys could tell, I'm still same here, so this is another review. It's not a horror movie, but it is one of my other favorite uh, movies about serial killers. And this week I've been thinking about nothing but Charles Manson. I always liked his Outfit. I, I like how he was back in the day, you know, like all like hippie -ish. I love hippies. I love hippies. I love, um, you know, every. I love Jamaicans. I love anything. Well, this one is the original Helter Skelter. This one is one of my favorite uh, Manson movies, actually, of all times. Uh, this one's very different compared to the uh, a remake, I would call a remake, uh, where this one shows more of the uh, court scenes and the court hearings where um, the remake shows more of the killing. It does show a little bit of flashbacks of the killing, but it's not much killing type. Uh, this one's more like a, I would say, like a court thing. Um, it's a really good movie. I love it. Um, let's see. Steve Ra Railsback plays Charles Manson. He looked to the T, man. He looks just like Charles Manson. Where in the remake, he kind of reminds me of like a Rob Zombie type. But this one is... Like a Charles Manson type. It's really, really cool. Um, I forgot her name in here. Uh, she was off the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, Sally. Sally's in here. Um, Marilyn Burns. There we go. Marilyn Burns. She's also in this film. She's the uh, person who basically snitched on Manson and the uh, Manson girls to basically get them in jail. Um, it's pretty cool. I like this one. This one's really interesting, uh, but it's not really much for people who want killing actions. If you guys want that, the remake would totally be it for you guys. This one shows a little bit of flashbacks, but this one's not really much, um, not much of a killing type movie. It's more like a court movie, like them figuring out, like, is he guilty or like this. It shows really cool. It shows the ranch and everything. It's just really, really cool. It's a good movie. It's a good movie for people who love stuff like that, but, um, if you want the killing action, the remake would totally be for you guys. Um, now, I am a big fan of Manson, but I'm a huge fan of Iron Man Mortals. So, you know, I got the monster movie, and I got the, uh, Life and Death of the Serial Killer. Um, how about you guys decide which one you guys want me to review? You guys want to review the, uh, Iron Man Life and Death of a Serial Killer or Monster? Pick the, uh, comment below. But this one is gonna, um, it's a really good movie, so gonna end this night because I don't know what else to say about it um it's not really much of an exciting movie um but I like it you know I like Charles Manson so I guess if you're a Charles Manson fan like me I guess you'll totally set up for this one this movie is very hard to find though I got it for Christmas so but it's really really hard to find so like comment subscribe welcome to my channel I did the House on Haunted Hill review now I end in the day with Charles Manson Helter Skelter check out um if you guys want me to review any horror movies I got you know, just, I don't know. But choose which Eileen Warnell film you want me to do. You want me to do The Life and Death of the Serial Killer or the Monster Movie. Either way, I'll do both. But how about you guys decide uh, which one you guys want me to do. And just comment below, Life and Death of the Serial Killer or Monster. Um, so, yep, Doki out.